Hello everybody, welcome back to my layout. I'm going to start on a new project, which is the assembly of uh, a waterfront kit from Foscale Models. And let me zoom in a bit so you can see what it looks like. This kit is called Hooper's Oysters. It's uh, the first time I'm going to assemble a kit like this. So I think it will be interesting to see how that goes. I've taken out all the parts in the kit uh, and laid them out here and that was just to check whether all the components, uh, all the parts uh, were, in, were actually included. The kit also includes um, this mini barge here, so I'm going to build that as well. All the windows and doors and other components um, are here and these are the instructions which I will read first and then I'll start assembling. Alright so I have uh, first done the bracing on the backs uh, of each of the parts so that is what you see here um, and then I uh, stained all of the parts And the staining was done with a greyish uh, thin wash, essentially to give the wood uh, a very old and dryish uh, appearance. So the staining, as you can see, I've done on both sides, the back on and the front. And uh, the main reason for doing that is to uh, avoid uh, warping. Some of the parts um, warped quite a bit. Um, not not these parts. Uh, let me show you. So it were essentially these two parts that uh, warped uh, quite a bit. Um, I don't know if it's still, if you can still see it. So this part is still a bit curved. So this still has to be uh, flattened out. But that happened after, uh, after the wash. Um, so this I have to re-wet uh, probably and um, and then put some weights on to straighten that out. I also experimented a bit with uh, coloring. Uh, as you can see, uh, most of the kit will be getting um, a light uh, white color. Um, and then some parts will have a bluish, darker bluish color. Um, so what I tried was uh, something like this, um, and those are um, these two colors here. So it's um, a color called greenish white, and then uh, this color here, sky sky blue. And then I have uh, another color which is uh, deep sky blue, which is slightly darker. Uh, that I will be using for the uh, the, the trimming and the, and the doors and the and the windows. But um, essentially, this will be uh, the color combination that I will be using. Okay, so this is after uh, dabbing on uh, a thin coat of uh, greenish white. I will not uh, put on more. So the idea is that uh, the stain will uh, come through and make the paint look old and in need of uh, some maintenance. And then these are the, the strips of trim. Those have been given uh, the darker bluish color. So after the painting was finished, I cut out uh, all the windows and uh, doors. Uh, those were painted in a blue color. And um, so those have been glued in place as well. And in addition, I also added the glazing. So let me zoom in a bit. 
here you can also see that uh, the glazing has been put in place. So the other thing I added were, were these, uh, these signs here. So there's a big sign on this wall. And then there are a couple of other smaller signs uh, in addition. So the next step is to uh, glue all of this together. All right, so here are all the walls uh, glued together. So the whole thing is assembled. I've also put on the, the trimming, as you can see. So I, I think uh, this turned out uh, quite nicely. Uh, what is remaining now is uh, the roofs. So there is a, a main roof and then a small roof here above the entrance. And then there is a staircase uh, that also needs to get a roof. And a little loft that also needs to get a roof. So I'll be doing that uh, next. I've glued on the roofs as well. I'll turn it around a bit so you can see it from different angles. So the next step uh, will be to finish the roofing. Uh, the roofing will be finished with uh, corrugated metal and that will be made from this material here. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see the texture on it so that will go on all the roofs uh, which I will then have to paint and weather and essentially the idea is to give it a very uh, rusted uh, appearance so I glued on the corrugated metal on uh, one side of uh, the main roof And the idea is to have uh, a really rusted uh, look. So it should have the appearance of metal, but really rusted. Let me show you how I uh, achieved uh, this effect. So essentially, I dabbed on uh, three brownish rust uh, colors, like this. And then uh, after, the, after that, I uh, dry brushed on some uh, silver metallic paint to give the appearance of uh, metal. So the colors I used were uh, these. Those are MO MIG uh, colors. So it's rust tracks, dust and old rust. And this is the silver metallic paint that I used for the dry brushing. All right, so all the corrugated uh, metal panels have been glued on now. I'll turn it around to show you. The next thing I want to do is uh, add a bit more uh, weathering. And I've started uh, doing that on this uh, side of the main roof. Just let me zoom in. So on different parts, I've added more rust, for example, here. Um, and I want to continue that uh, on all the other parts as well. So I haven't done any, any of that uh, here. Uh, one of the reasons for uh, doing that is also to, um, to hide uh, essentially some of the cutting edges um, that you, for example, can see here. And, and there. So by adding uh, rust uh, on top of that, uh, that will be hidden as well. All right, so I finished the entire building now. Um, I added uh, all of the weathering that I wanted. So um, starting with the rust uh, on all of the roofs. So there's a lot of rust uh, on all of the corrugated uh, metal sheets, as you can see. So I'm quite happy with that. 
Um, in addition, I added a couple of details. So I added this uh, little sign over here. And then uh, this smaller roof um, I added here as well. Um, and then I did a more I did some more weathering uh, on the walls. So on the low side of the building I added uh, a bit of a greenish uh, wash. Make it look uh, really dirty. And then overall um, various places I added a lot of dirt. So in the in the upper corners uh, as you can see here uh, the doors and the windows I made really dirty um, yeah so I, I just gave it a lot of weathering to make it really really old and dirty and in need of uh, maybe a bit of maintenance so that was precisely what I was after so the pier structure that uh, this building will uh, be put on, I've not built that uh, yet. Um, I first want to build uh, a couple of more buildings uh, like these. And then I want to um, finish the water in the lake. So I want to model that before I'm going to place that. And so I, I need to have the water model before I can figure out what the height of the pier uh, should be. So I'm going to wait with that uh, until uh, the water in the lake has been modeled. Mm -hmm.